Okay, this is Jimmy Rex from NicheExperiments.com and I'm going to quickly tell you um, how Pete and I easily find ideas for AdSense sites. Um, the first place to have a look at is here, thefind.com. Um, a really great website with tons and tons of products. And if you go down here to top searches, you can see there are loads and loads of things that you can click on here to have a look into uh, getting ideas for AdSense sites. These are all being searched by people on this site, so you can bet they'll be searching in Google as well. And that's what you need to make an AdSense site. Lots of searches in Google, um, but also you don't want much competition either. But we'll get to that later, we use Market Samurai for that. Um, if you don't find anything in there, you can go here, All Categories, and you would be able to find tons of stuff by clicking into one of these. If I choose Appliances at Random, straight away these are all topics and ideas for AdSense sites. For instance, air conditioners, air purifiers, dehumidifiers, um, pretty much every single one of these. If I was to take it as an idea and take it over to Market Samurai, I think I would be able to, uh, in most cases, find some good keywords to target to make up a, uh, an AdSense site. Um, if you want to look in somewhere else, if the find isn't doing it for you, then Amazon.com is a great place. Um, just click Shop All Departments and that will give you this huge list of, uh, of different sort of categories we could look at. Let's say um, exercise and fitness in this example. Um, just scrolling down straight away we've got loads of ideas for potential AdSense sites. Um, treadmills um, or uh, uh, exercise bikes or even um, rowing machines, all of that kind of stuff um, would be a good starting place to find uh, some keywords that we could build an AdSense site around. Um, again, shopping.com is a good one. All you need to do in shopping.com is come down to the bottom um, of the page uh, when you're on the main sort of, uh, let's have a look, shopping.com. In order to get to that page we were on there with all the categories, you just need to scroll down to the bottom of the, uh, the home page and it says see all categories. And once you're on that page, it's all laid out for you, absolutely no problem. Once again, we've got similar things to before, air conditioners, air purifiers, um, barbecues would be a great one. Just tons and tons and tons of ideas. And that's all you want at this stage, it's just vague ideas that you can take over to Market Samurai and you can look into things in more detail. And that's what I'm going to have a look at next. Alright, I hope that helped. Okay, so here we are in Market Samurai, and I've set up um, headphones as the keyword, and I've chosen this um, purely because my headphones broke um, the other day. Uh, I need to get some new ones, and I kind of want to get the point over that there are literally millions of niche ideas out there, and keyword ideas um, just literally happening every day. As soon as you, something breaks, it usually gives me an idea uh, to get on the internet and have a look at how much these things cost. And all the time I'm thinking, can I monetize this? Can I build a website around this? Um, so headphones is a classic one. I need some headphones for my iPod. Um, so I'm going to have a look into that and see if we can do something with it. So we want to start here in the keyword research section. And we want to generate some keywords. Uh, Market Samurai sometimes can take a little time to load up. Um, it's different on different days. so. Uh, Let's see how it is today. Okay, so Market Samurai has loaded up loads and loads and loads of different um, keywords for us right here, um, all to do with headphones. Um, so we need to really do a bit of analysis. So go to Keyword Analysis. And what I like to do to start off with is uncheck all of these boxes. Um, except for just a few which I will show you. Um, so let's have a look, we might even get rid of trends at the moment. And um, this one here. So we want the total searches. This is important. And I'm going to say we want at least 2,000 per month. Um, so that's another thing. We've changed this from daily to monthly. Oops, that's not what. Change that to 2,000. Um, the SEO C, which is over here, the SEO comp, I'm going to change that to 200,000. 
Now the SEOC is the amount of web pages we'll be competing with. 200,000 is a good amount. I have seen it go up to 300,000 and been fine. It really depends. Um, you often have to play around with it, but as a start, this is really, really uh, an easy way to look at it. Um, and with the SEO traffic, let's just say, uh, we'll just put in something like um, 50, a minimum of 50 for the moment. Don't worry about that too much. We will analyze keywords. Oh, also we want exact match. This is really, really important as well. So let's analyze these keywords and see what we come up with. Okay, so uh, Market Samurai has done its thing. It's brought up some options for us. Um, and here it is, we've got the amount of, the average number of people who search for this keyword per month. We've got the maximum potential monthly clicks that a number one ranked site for this key term could potentially achieve. And also the total number of web pages globally that mention a specific keyword term in the same phrase word order in Google's index. So this is our competition. So having a look over this, We've got all these various different um, things to look into. Beat headphones, cool headphones, um, there's Logitech headphones, so we've got some which are actual brand names on there. Um, brand names that I think are fine to use, as far as I know, there's no, uh, there's no actual law about, against buying a, the brand name plus a modifier, because obviously the brand would themselves will have, you know, Logitech.com or something. Um, but I have heard of these companies getting in touch uh, with people who own these websites and making them either hand them over or, or buying them from them or something like that. It can get a bit messy. I've never actually seen it happen to anyone that I know and it's never happened to me but um, I do know it goes on just from uh, from what I've heard from other people. So I quite like to go for things like um, you know beat headphones would be good or cool headphones would be good. Something like that which is a bit generic you're not going to get in trouble for. Now, obviously, the more searches, the better. So the ones that are interesting here are Beat Headphones and Cool Headphones. Um, I'm looking down, we also have Panasonic. Well, like I said, I don't want to take them on. Shure Headphones, again, it's another company. So it looks like, really, we've got two top options. Beat Headphones and Cool Headphones. So let's have a look at Beat Headphones. Click on this uh, little key here. And what we will get is um, the uh, the options will come up here in the top. What we want to do with Beat Headphones is now have a look at the SEO competition. We know we can rank it because of the SEO C. We know it's got good search volume, so now we want to have a look at the competition. Let's have a look at the top 10 results in Google for the phrase Beat Headphones, and let's see if we can actually beat any of those, get ourselves into the top 10, top 5, or maybe even to the top 1 spot. Um, I'll pause the video because uh, it'll take a little while. Okay, so here's an overview of the competition for the phrase beat headphones. And straight away I can see up here, beatsbydre.com is actually the product that people are searching for when they type that in to Google. Um, it's got a very high PR6 um, and it has tons and tons of backlinks to the page. This is backlinks to the site overall, but that's backlinks to this actual page, which happens to be the uh, the main URL. We are not going to be uh, ranking number one for the phrase Beat Headphones. Uh, looking down, it's the same site again, um, also just ranking another page. Um, highly relevant, tons of backlinks. Even though it's not optimized here, I would say it's just it's going to be too much of a competitor really to, to be able to beat either of, the, either of these. Amazon is an interesting one. There are times when Amazon is quite easy to beat. Um, that's when they don't have many backlinks to the page and when they don't, they're not optimized back here at all. Um, in this case, Amazon are ranking exactly what they should be, exactly what people are searching for, so I don't really fancy taking that one on. I do think if we made um, an affiliate site uh, or, or an AdSense site for the term Beat Headphones, we would probably get onto page one with some good backlinking um, because there's a site here 
which is a .NET, which I'm absolutely sure is going to be uh, an affiliate site. Yet yeah, it's an Amazon niche site, similar to the kind of site we would build. So, um, so yeah, absolutely, it would be possible to rank on the front page, but I certainly don't fancy uh, taking on some of these this top half. I don't fancy trying to get into the uh, the top five really. YouTube, if there's not many backlinks to the page, you can usually beat. That's not too much of a problem. And it looks like down here, this is USA Today, um, and maybe another magazine. These these kind of pages are usually ranking by accident. So if I see something like that, like a magazine or a newspaper, I'm not really going to worry about it. So, yeah, Beat headphones, not great. Um, I think we'll be best to go back and have a look at cool headphones um, and see if that's going to be uh, any easier. Because although we can get on the uh, in the top ten, I don't really fancy getting any higher than that. Uh, or fancy our chances, really. So let's try cool headphones. So I'm just going to generate results, and uh, again, I will uh, pause this. Okay, here we are with the top 10 results for cool headphones, and this is looking much, much better. Um, all of these sites that are coming up nearly all have very, very low PR value. Um, I don't really worry about this too much, the amount of index pages, because this here, which is backlinks to that specific page, they're all really, really, really low. Um, much, much easier to rank for this than it would have been for uh, Beat headphones. Um, again, backlinks to the domain, okay, that, that's quite a big deal in some cases, but again, it looks like here, this is an article written for the Huffington Post. It's, um, it's ranking pretty much by accident. What I mean by that is the guy who wrote the article wasn't actually trying to rank for the phrase cool headphones, I don't think. He just happened to include it, and lots of people, uh, or a few people, have obviously liked it and linked to that page, which means it's, um, it's coming up top in Google. But I think we could beat that with a well-optimized site, all about cool headphones, with some good information and some good backlinks. Um, looking down, we have similar things. This is another one, Crooked Brains. This is um, another kind of site which has got lots and lots of info about lots and lots of things. And they've not tried to rank cool headphones here. They've just done a page which is about cool and creative headphones. Um, it's, they're, they're actually trying to make money from AdSense as well, but in, in a bit of a different way. Um, and it, you know, it, it looks like it has just ranked by accident because they've done some... Uh, They've included the words cool headphones on the page. Um, looking down, there aren't really any um, affiliate sites um, that we would need to beat, um, except for one here, Cool Headphones HQ. Now this is interesting actually, let's take a look at this. Cool Headphones HQ. This is pretty much a perfect site for ranking for the phrase cool headphones. Um, they've got cool headphones up here in the top, um, cool headphones on the banner, coolest headphones, cool headphones um, in this little sort of title bit here. And going down, they're optimized for cool headphones again, coolest headphones, they're obviously going for that. Um, cool looking headphones, lots of phrases around that. And of course they've got um, lots of AdSense here and AdSense here. So they're, they're really likely to attract clicks on those on the AdSense from anyone who is searching uh, cool headphones who finds this site. Um, and I'll give you a little, uh, give away a little secret here. Actually, this is a site that Pete and I made literally six days ago. We, made, we threw that site up six days ago. We've added some backlinks and it's already jumped to position eight. Um, so I've already sort of showed you how we would come across come up with the idea of aiming for cool headphones. Uh, I didn't actually think the site we made uh, six days ago would be ranking yet, um, but amazingly it's jumped right up there because it's well optimized. So what we'll do in the, the rest of this uh, AdSense payday package and in the rest of these videos is show you how we put this site together, themes we used, um, other, other keywords that we're optimized for, and also how we backlinked it to jump up onto page one so quickly. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it.